neno moja najua oh, oh, oh. ni salama moyoni mwangu ni salama niyo napoamani kama shwari The apostles were beaten in the hands of the religious people. But instead of instead of the beating having a negative effect. It had a positive effect. They rejoiced. Instead of lamenting and weeping. Because they remembered. It was for the name of Jesus Christ. Whom they decided to follow. If I asked you today, can you join me in rejoicing under such circumstances? Because for me, I've decided to follow him fully and to live according to his word. So that if it ends up there, I will rejoice that it has ended up there. But in your heart are you saying that you can join me in rejoicing under such circumstances? Or you will sympathize with me for my foolishness. Now verse 42 says And daily in the temple and in every house they cease not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. Na kila siku ndani ya hekalu na nyumbani mwao hawakuacha kufundisha na kuhubiri habari njema za Yesu kwa Wale yule ambaye walipigwa kwa jili Yule ambaye waliambiwa wasimtaje The Bible says they increased even how they mentioned it. Biblia inasema kwamba hata uwalizidisha jinsi Daily in the temple. Kila siku hekaluni. And in every house. Na kwa kila nyumba. That means from the temple they go to the house. Inamaanisha kwamba kutoka hekaluni walikuwa wanaenda kwa manyumba. They never ceased to teach and to preach Jesus Christ. Hawakuacha kufundisha na kuhubiri kuhusu Yesu Kristo. Because they had made a decision for him. Sababu walikuwa wamefanya uamuzi kwa ajili yake. To live is for him. So it is gain. It's not for them. It's not for them. Amen. It's for him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And nothing was going to stop them. And nothing is going to stop us. They never ceased to do that, that for which they were beaten. Amen. And now for your information na kwa habari kwako they never just got beaten a bit hawakupigwa tu kiasi they continued waliendelea and they continued in the affliction na wakaendelea katika mateso until such a time that they were killed for it hadi wakati ule walipouawa kwa ajili yake they never even when they saw that this thing will finish us they never said let us stop hata walipoona kwamba hii kitu itatuua hawakusema na tuache No they never said let us stop they continued. Hawakusema na tuache waliendelea. This is Acts chapter 4. Ini matendo ya mitume mlango. I mean chapter 5. Matendo ya mitume mlango 5. You move on. Nasonga mbele. You find that uh, ukisonga mbele utagundua. You 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 find that in the process Stephen is stoned. Katika harakati hiyo Stefano akapigwa mawe. And you go on and find that James is cut asunder. Ukiendelea mbele utagundua kwamba Yakobo amekatwa vipande viwili. And you go on and you see suffering suffering but they rejoicing in it and they continue in it. Na ukisonga mbele utaona mateso mateso na wanafurahia kwa mateso hayo. They continue in it they never give up. Walidumu kwayo hawakukata tamaa. They had decided. Walikuwa wameamua. To follow Jesus. Kumfuata Yesu. You can just sing I have decided to follow Jesus. Unaweza imba tu kwamba nimeamua kumfuata Yesu. But you don't have a cross with you. Lakini kwako hauna msalaba. Amen. Amina. You don't have a cross. Hauna msalaba. And he says if you cannot come carry a cross and go after him. Anasema kama huwezi mbeba msalaba na mfuata. Having denied yourself. Ukiwa umejikana. Then you cannot be this is disciple. Basi hawezi kuwa mwanafunzi wake. So you are following but maybe you are going with him nowhere. Kwa hivyo unamfuata lakini huenda huendi na yeye popote. For because he has laid down how you can follow him. Maana ametuonyesha jinsi sababu unapaswa kufuata. And he says decide on these things if you want to follow. Na anasema aamua kuhusu mambo haya kama unataka kunifuata. The disciples followed until they were killed for that name. 
hadi wakauawa kwa ajili ya hilo jina. Are we in the same faith as they were? Je, tuko katika ile imani jinsi walivyokuwa? Are we in the same faith as they were? Je, tuko katika imani sawa na yao? Are we following the same savior? Je, tunamfuata yeye kwa kuzimoja? Are we as committed moja? him as they were committed? Je, tumejitolea jinsi ambavyo walijitolea? I remember. Nakumbuka. We are closer to the end of time than they were. Si tunakaribia nyakati za mwisho kuliko jinsi walivyokuwa. They were at the beginning of the church. Walikuwa katika mwanzo wa kanisa. But I believe we are towards the end of the church. Lakini naamini si tunaelekea mwisho wa kanisa. So our commitment should be even deeper. Hebu bidii yetu na kuwa ta zaidi but is it deeper or shallower lakini je ni ya juju ama ni ya kilindi if you have then decided to follow jesus kama basi umeamua kumfuata yesu let us follow him fully basi tumfuate kikamilifu without wavering in our faith pasipo kuyumbishwa yumbishwa katika imani yetu amen amina now when moses descended from the mountain where he had been with god musa aliposhuka kutoka kule mlimani ambapo alikuwa na mungu and he found confusion of faith in the land in the camp akapata hali ya kuchanganyikiwa katika imani kwenye hema he had just one declaration to make alikuwa tu na tamko moja and that declaration i can make it today to you who are listening na tamko hilo naweza fanya kwako leo unaye nisikiliza and you who are watching na wewe unayetazama exodus chapter 32 and verse 26 kutoka 32 mstari wa 26 then moses stood in the gate of the camp and said Who is on the Lord's side let him come unto me and all the sons of Levi gather themselves together unto him Ndipo Musa akasimama katika mlango wa marago akasema mtu waye yote aliye upande wa Bwana na aje kwangu It was a declaration Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said who is on the side of the Lord let him come unto me and all the sons of Levi gather themselves together unto him Musa akasimama katika mlango wa marago akasema mtawaye yeyote aliye upande wa Bwana na aje kwangu wana walawi wote wakakusanyika Who is on the side of the Lord today? Nani aliye upande wa Bwana leo? Amen. Amina. Is he our Lord and Savior or is our Savior and Redeemer? Je, ni Bwana wetu na mwokozi ama ni mwokozi wetu na mkombozi? Amen. Amen. We love the Savior and Redeemer. Tunampenda mwokozi na mkombozi. But we love the Lord. Lakini je, tunampenda Bwana? Can we exercise or can we walk in his lordship over us? Jitunaweza inenda katika ile hali yake. Can we align to exercise lordship over us? Tunaweza mruhusu yeye awe na nafasi ya Bwana juu yetu. Are we allowing him to the to be the master he is over us? Jitunamruhusu yeye kuwa Bwana ambaye yeye ni juu yetu. Moses said. Musa akasema. Who is on the Lord's side? Nani aliye upande wa Bwana? Let him come unto me. Na aje kwangu. And there are found some na kulikuwa na wengine the sons of levi wana walawi amen Amina. they were found some wakapatikana the sons of levi wana walawi bless you be the name of the lord jina la bwana libarikiwe who is ready to obey the lord fully and follow him nani aliye tayari kumwamini bwana kamilifu na kumfuata let him come and let us serve the lord jesus christ our savior na aje na tumtumikie bwana wetu yesu kristo mwokozi amen Amina. let him come and let us serve the lord the, the lord our savior na aje na tumtumikie bwana mwokozi wetu When Elijah saw that there was spiritual confusion in the land. Elia alipoona kwamba kulikuwa na hali ya kuchanganyikiwa ya rohoni katika nchi. There was confusion of worship. Kulikuwa na hali ya kuchanganyikiwa katika nchi. People did not know which God had an answer. Wote wakojua ni Mungu yupi aliye najibu. He appeared to the king Ahab. Alimwendea mfalme Ahabu. And he challenged the people. Akawatia changamoto watu. To make a decision na kuambia wafanye uamuzi. Amen. Amina. Challenge the people to make a decision. Aliwatia changamoto watu wafanye uamuzi. It is high time people made a decision. Ni wakati unaofaa watu wafanye uamuzi. If Jesus is not able. Ikiwa Yesu hawezi. Then let us look for where the, the where the ability is. Basi tutafute mahali ambapo kuna uwezo. If it is not possible with Jesus. Kama haiwezekani Yesu. Let us look for where the possibility is. Basi tutafute mahali ambapo kuna uwezo. But if it is possible with Jesus. Lakini ikiwa kwa Yesu kuna uwezo. Let us walk according to that possibility with him. Basi tuenende kulingana na jinsi ambavyo inawezekana kwake. Bless you be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Elijah came down and spoke to the king and the the people Elia aliteremka akazungumza na mfalme na katia watu changamoto And should hear that that same challenge is sounding in our minds today Na tunapaswa kusikia hiyo changamoto ikijirudia katika kile zetu The book of first king chapter 18 numbers 21 Katika mfalme wa kwanza 18 mstari wa 21 And Elijah came unto all the people and said How long hold he between two opinions if the Lord be God follow him but if Baal then follow him and the people answered him not a word 
na Elia akawakaribia watu wote akanena mtasita sita katika, katika mawazo mawili hata lini bwana akiwa ndiye Mungu mfuateni balikiwa bali ni Mungu haya mfuateni yeye if you have a people who have no the, 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 the living god kama kuna watu ambao wanajua Mungu aliye hai if you have a people who know their savior tukiwa na watu ambao wanajua mwokozi wao if you have a people who know all that all that was paid for by the suffering of Jesus Christ on the cross tukiwa na watu ambao wanajua yale yote yaliyolipiwa kupitia kwa mateso Yesu kwa msalaba if you have a people who know how much Jesus can answer tukiwa na watu ambao wanajua kipimo ambacho Yesu anaweza jibu then let them stand out basi na wajitokeze and declare na watangaze and let the lord manifest himself na bwana ajidhirishe let the lord arise na bwana inuke that his enemy may be scattered ili badala yake watawalishe but how can he arise lakini atainukaje Let the Lord arise. Na Bwana inuke. That his enemies be scattered. Ili maadui wake watawanyike. But how can he arise? Lakini atainukaje? If there is nobody standing like Elijah. Ikiwa kuna mwenye kusimama kama Elia. How long shall we be grouped with people of other faiths? Basi hadi lini tutakapohusishwa na watu wa imani zingine? And be governed by regulations set by an interface body. Na kuongozwa na masharti na sheria ambazo zimewekwa na vikundi mbalimbali vilivyo na imani tofauti tofauti You know you may not understand the seriousness Wenda usielewe uzito wake I command the the rulership of the land Ninaadhimisha utawala wa dunia For having given opportunity for people of faith to speak Kwa kupeana nafasi kwa watu wa imani kunena Because for him kwa sababu kwake He is a political ruler yeye ni kiongozi wa kisiasa. And he has got a set of people with whom he is governing. Most of them politicians. Na kuna kundi la watu wake ambao wanaongoza nao wengi wao. They are doing their work best as they know it. Wanafanya kazi yao bora jinsi wanavyojua. Giving a right to every citizen of the land. Wanampa haki kila raia wa nchi. Including pamoja na when it came to faith and he set up people. Na and these people are called interfaith people na watu wanaitwa watu wa imani tofauti tofauti you may not understand but you should understand uenda usielewe lakini unafaa kuelewa you should understand yafaa uelewe interfaith imani mbalimbali it means people of different forms of worship people of different faiths inamaanisha kwamba ni watu wa aina tofauti tofauti faiths watu wa imani tofauti tofauti different forms of worship walio na aina mbalimbali ya ibada walio na miungu mbalimbali How can people of different gods come together? Yawezekanaje watu wa miungu tofauti tofauti kuja pamoja? But they may decide how the worship should be. Ili wafanye uamuzi jinsi ambavyo ibada inafaa kuwa. Is that worship going to be or, or which god which, that worship shall be to which god? Je, hiyo ibada itakuwa ni kwa Mungu mgani? It shall be to which god? Itakuwa ni anafanywa Mungu mgani? You don't understand my friends. But these things have got to be clear to you. Lakini mambo haya yafaa yaeleweke kwako. That if the church does not if the church is not careful. Kama kanisa lisipojali. And the church is you and me who have chosen to believe. Na kanisa ni wewe na mimi ambao tumechagua kuamini. If we don't decide tusipoamua to believe and follow to the letter the word of God. Kuamini na kufuata hadi mwisho neno la Mungu. And live by every word of Jesus Christ. Na tuishi kulingana tuishi kulingana na Mungu. Then we shall find out save in bondage but tutajikuta tuko katika ufungo and it shall not be the first time it has happened na haitakuwa mara ya kwanza it has happened before with the church imetendeka hata hapo nyuma kwa kanisa just 300 years after the, after, the, after the church was begun miaka 300 baada ya kanisa kuanzishwa it got into trouble that lasted centuries iliingia katika shida ambayo ilienda katika karne I don't want to be a part of that. Sitaki kuwa sehemu ya hiyo. I don't want it to be in record that it is in our generation that the church fell. Sitaki kupatikana kwenye rekodi kwamba ilikuwa ni katika kizazi yetu ambacho kanisa ilishindwa. Amen. Amina. I don't know what decision you have. Sijini uamuzi upi But I'm telling you as your pastor. Lakini nakwambia kama mchungaji wako. Who is speaking preaching to you today? Ambaye anakuhubiria leo. I don't want to be. Kwamba mimi sitaki kukuwa in record of a generation. Miongoni mwa kile kizazi. That allowed the church to fall. Ambao waliruhusu kanisa li Okay. People of different faiths, different gods, different beliefs. Watu wa imani tofauti tofauti, miungu tofauti tofauti, imani tofauti tofauti. Sitting down together. Wakikaa pamoja. And drawing how the worship should be. Na wanapanga jinsi ambavyo ibada inapaswa kukua. And telling you you can't worship your God for more than an hour. Na kukuambia uwezi aabudu Mungu wako kwa zaidi ya lisaa moja. Tell you must restrict yourself to that. Na kukuambia lazima uingiane na hiyo. 
And then we find the intellectuals of the church saying, it's okay, we can manage it. We have got self-control. Alafu unapata wenye akili kwa kanisa wanasema ndio ni sawa. Tunaweza jidhibiti, tunaweza fanya kulingana na hili. You don't know what you are releasing yourselves to. Haujui chenye unajiachilia kwayo. And everyone who is watching and you are a believer. Na kila mmoja ambaye unatazama na wewe ni muumini. You should Today decide what you believe in. Leo unafaa kufanya uamuzi ni lipi ambalo unamini. And today decide how far you can go in this that you believe. Na leo uamue ni umbali ambapo unaweza fika kwa hiki ambacho unaamini. Because I can tell you. Maana naweza kuambia. A prophet though I'm not. Nabii japokuwa mimi sio. I can tell you. Naweza kuambia. The perilous times are building up to come. Kwa nyakati ngumu zinajitenga. And it shall be for those who have decided to stand strong. Na itakuwa kwa wale ambao wameamua kusimama dhabiti. Amen. Amina. Yeah there may be many there may be many who believe in what you are hearing today. Wenda kuna wengi kuna wengi wanaoamini kwa kila ambacho unasikia. Because I've heard it from various quarters. Wana nimeisikia kutoka katika maeneo mbalimbali. And I know there are them that believe. Na najua kuna wale wanaoamini. There are many many more who have not even spoken. Na kuna wengi wengi zaidi ambao hata wamenena. In the time of Elijah. Kwa wakati wa Elia. In the book of 1 Kings chapter 19. Katika kitabu cha wafalme wa kwanza 19. Verse 14 it says. Mstari wa 14 inasema That's Elijah talking to God. Ni Elia akizungumza na Mungu. He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars and slain thy prophets with swords, and I even I only am left and they seek my life to take it away. Nimeona wivu mwingi kwa ajili ya Bwana Mungu wa majeshi kwa kuwa wana wa Israeli wameacha magano yako na kuzivunja madhabahu zako na kuwaua manabi wako kwa upanga nami nimesalia mimi peke yangu nao wananitafuta roho yangu waiondoe Elijah felt he was alone. Elia alihisi kwamba yu peke yake. And indeed he was being chased as though he was alone. Na hakika alikuwa na ndamo kana kwamba alikuwa peke yake. Jezebel had sworn to finish him because it was like he was alone why did he appear to be alone because he's the only one who talked amen he appeared to be alone because he's the only one who talked there were many others verse 18 it says yet have let me 7000 in israel all the knees which have not bowed unto Baal and every mouth which have not kissed him pamoja na hayo nitajisazia katika israeli watu 1700 kila goti lisilo mwinamia bali na kila kinywa kisichombusu Elijah thought he was alone. Elia alidhani kwamba yu peke yake. But God tells him you are not alone. Lakini Mungu anamwambia wewe hauko peke yako. There are still others who have refused to bow down to Baal. Bado kuna wengine ambao wamekataa kumsujudia Baal. They have not kissed his image. Hawajabusu kinyago yake. They are my own. Ni wangu. He says yet I have left me 7000 in Israel. Nimejisazia watu 1700 Israeli. So he says I've got my own. They are 7000. They are acceptable with me. Kwa hivyo anasema niko na wangu ni watu 1700 wametakabalika kwangu. But here is Elijah alone being chased to be killed. Lakini yu hapa Elia akiwa peke yake anafuatwa na adui. What is the difference? Kuna tofauti gani? The 7000 were of God. Wale watu 1700 wa Baal's image and everything to do with his worship. Walikataa bali na kinyago yake na kila kitu ambacho kinahusu ibadati. None of them got up to say anything. Lakini hakuna hata mmoja aliyejitokeza kusema lolote. They never said anything. Hawakusema lolote. They might have been in hiding. Lazima walikuwa wamejificha. They might have been quiet about it. Lazima walikuwa wamejinyamazia. There somebody was sent to go and look for Elijah in 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 first king chapter 18. Kuna mtu ambaye alitumwa kutafuta Elia katika wafalme wa kwanza 18. And when Elijah told him go and tell the king that I'm around. Elia alipomwambia kwamba nenda kumwambia mfalme He said why do you want me to die? He even said don't you know that I preserved some priests I I put them in a cave and I was giving them I was giving them water and bread. Hata nasema akasema kwamba hujui kwamba kuna niliwahifadhi baadhi ya makuhani hata nikawa nimeweka kwenye pango na wapatia maji na mkate. We don't know where Elijah came from. Hatujui Elia alitoka wapi. But he just appeared all of a sudden. Lakini alitokezea tu punde. 
and he started being loud about what he believed amen he started being loud about what he believed even though he had landed him in trouble until he thought he was alone but I want to tell you that God of Elijah is our God even though they tried to chase him they never destroyed him in fact because because that Jezebel said that in 24 hours Elijah's head will be off his shoulders God made it that even up to today Elijah has not died he has not died he is among them the few that we are told never died for him it is very clear for Enoch we are told he was no more but for Elijah we are told clearly that when he was to go up the heavens sent a special courage to carry him home a royal heavenly courage chariot of fire came down to earth and carried him away and it was evident Elisha said I see you my Lord, my father I see you and it was not in secret the sons of the prophet were telling Elisha we are not telling Elisha don't you know that your master is being is, is about to be taken away don't you know that your master is being is about to be taken away it was announced and everybody knew that it's time to travel and come ilitangazwa na kila mtoka joka mba wakati wake wakusafiri imefuadia oh blessed be the name of the Lord let me tell you something my friend you may try to hold on to things around here and yet our time for going home is about maybe the engine has been set and is just waiting to come to carry you home pengine grudumu imeshae kwa gari limewe kwa tayari na nakungojia uwe tayari amen glory train is about to take us away and you are there trying to compromise with the world trying to run with the fears of the world trying to be quiet yes there were 7,000 who had not bowed but how many of them went up by chariot of fire how many of them called down the fire again we even don't know of them we don't know where they are. Elijah was not even told where to go and find them. But for Elijah we know it finished well with him. Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13 as we go to wind up today. You are the salt of the earth. You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, where shall it be salted? It is from that time on, or it is thenceforth good for nothing. It is good for nothing. If the church cannot stand to talk about Jesus Christ the way He is, if we cannot show our God the Savior He is, then we are good for nothing. Because if we want health experts, those ones are there, they have learned it. Economists are there, they have learned economics and they can run the economy of the land. If you are joining them as experts in that field, then the church itself has lost its position. If we are going to sit with them to decide how their ways can protect the world, then the church has lost its salt. If they are going to decide for us how to worship our God, then the church has lost its salt. And it is good for nothing. And it says it is, it is just good to be cast out and to be trodden upon the foot of men. 
If you don't watch out there you shall find the church being trodden by the feet of men all over. Tusipochunga basi tutapata kanisa likikanyagwa na miguu ya watu kila mahali. It is not by doing what the government can do. Si kwa kufanya kile ambacho serikali inaweza. It is not doing what it is not by doing what the technocrats can do. Si kwa kufanya kile ambacho wataalamu wanaweza fanya. It is not by doing what the scientists can explain. Si kwa kufanya kile ambacho wanasayansi wanaweza elezea. It is by doing that which only God can do and that God only one through Jesus Christ. Ni kwa kufanya kile ambacho Mungu peke yake ndiye anaweza fanya na huyo Mungu ni mmoja tu ambaye ni kupitia kwa Kristo Yesu. We are the only faith that have a solution to the world. Sisi ndio imani ya pekee iliyo na suluhisho kwa dunia nzima. Jesus did not say Yesu hakusema You are part of the salt of the earth. Kwa maana yeye ni sehemu ya chumvi ya dunia. He said you are the. Alisema ninyi ni That means definite article kumaanisha kwamba halina shaka no other hakuna lingine we are not a salt of the earth we are the salt of the earth sisi si ile chumvi ya dunia sisi ni chumvi ya dunia amen amina without us the world the earth has no salt bila sisi dunia halina ladha brethren wapendwa perilous times are coming nyakati ngumu zinakuja and if we don't prepare ourselves na tusipojiandaa Shall, it shall cut, uh, catch up with us not being aware. We must decide. And we must walk according to how we have decided. For me have decided to follow Jesus. I don't know what you have decided. For me have decided to go by his word. For me have decided that all my operations are outlined in the word of god there are outlined in the word of god the map has been drawn there i'll not take part of quran and part of the bible part of the buddhist book and part of the of the heathen and then try to draw something out of it in compromise we are not to conform to the world we are not to conform to the world and we are not going to walk by a compromised program we must go by the full program allowing god to do all that he wants to do and that's why i said it is time to decide ni wakati wa kuamua you can decide to fear unaweza amua kuogopa you can decide to follow ama unaweza amua kufuata if you fear you cannot follow ukiogopa uwezi fuata but if you choose not to fear lakini ukiamua kutogopa you can follow basi unaweza fuata i want to pray now nataka niombe sasa Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because of everyone who has watched this program. Thank you for everyone who has been in this electronic service. Lord now I pray. That as I wind up talking. Your spirit will continue talking in the hearts of the people. Stir them up to believe. Raise an army for yourself. A people who will be confident in you. Believing fully in you. They are full trust in you. Ready to lay down their lives for you. Because we know that when we lay down our life we shall find it. To your own glory and honor. We bless your name and worship you. Master I pray that if there be any that have not joined in this fold of believers you may touch them this this day that they may make the decision for you and glory shall be unto you i pray now for them that are sick in any way for them that have any form of disease in the name of jesus christ i rebuke sickness and diseases i command them to leave in the name in the name of Jesus Christ, spirit of infirmity, leave the people. In the name of Jesus Christ, you spirit of fear and intimidation, I come against your operation. I nullify your effect in the lives of the people. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command.
command you to dwindle away and perish in the name of Jesus Christ. I set free captives in the name of Jesus. My Father and my God, receive all glory and honor and praise. As we continue in prayer, you are there. You are not yet saved. Pray this prayer after me. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Today, Leo, I come to you. I surrender my life to you. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me by your blood. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I choose to live for you all the days of my life. Thank you Jesus for saving me. In Jesus name I pray. Say Amen. Ni salama